the football you played, how good you looked, how much hair you had. Uh, don't tell me about your 34, 24, 36. Don't tell me about your makeup, how many of them ran behind you. I don't care about that. Don't tell me about what you did yesterday, because yesterday is dead. And don't, don't even tell me about how God used to use you yesterday, because I put a Janet Jackson on you. What have you done for God lately? I'm trying to yeah. figure it out. Yesterday ain't got nothing yeah. to do with what's going on right now. Amen. Great, great job. I can't even mess with tomorrow. Not for real, not for real. Jesus Come said on. tomorrow will take care of itself. Yeah. That's what he said. And so some of us are so busy, Coco for Coco Puff, looking at tomorrow and about what God is going to do tomorrow that you miss the present, the gift yeah. that you have yeah. right in your hand. Yeah. You yeah. miss today. Anybody want to praise yeah. God today? Yeah. Anybody got a this is the day that the Lord has made yeah. pray? Anybody understand yeah. that I'm going to take advantage of the opportunity yeah. that God has given me right here, right now? Yes. Yeah. Today. Yeah. Moses begins to ask questions, and when he begins to ask questions, he asks a couple of things. Uh, he says, uh, well, check this out, Lord. If I've found favor in your sight, can you show me your way? Hmm. Nobody ever had a GPS? Of course you do. Everybody got a phone, right? You got a phone, you got a GPS. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the reason you have a GPS, and the reason you like GPS versus uh, the old Yahoo MapQuest, is one, because you don't have to print out that long sheet of paper. Mm -hmm. You don't have to print out that long sheet of paper to blow out the window or blow out your sunroof while you're driving, and then you'd be lost out in the middle of Tennessee, out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, you, you, you like your GPS because uh, as you take the wrong turn, because it is intent on getting you to your destination, it can reroute you uh, so that even your wrong turns can become your right turns to get you to your destination. Uh, the reason you like it is because it helps you. Uh, if you have a GPS like mine, uh, I got one in the car. It'll tell you, do you want the best route? Uh, do you want the fastest route? Do you want the route with tolls, the most costly route? It gives you a choice, y'all. <laughs> Every now and then, you, got, you want to get a choice when you're trying to figure out which way to go. The reason we like it is because it shows us the way. And so many times, uh, the problem with the church is that we know how to be saved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We know how to be saved. Yeah. Uh, believe in your heart and confess with your mouth yeah. the Lord Jesus. So you, you, you know Romans 10.9, uh, Romans 10.13, for whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. You know it all. Yeah. Uh, John 3, uh, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, who whosoever believe in him, you know uh, how to get saved. Uh, we do well with how to get saved. We even do well with how to shout. Uh, uh, we, we do well with how to get happy. Uh, what we don't do well with is how to live. We don't understand his way. Yeah, yeah. Let me share something with you about your, his ways and Moses. The Bible says clearly that the people of Israel, the children of Israel, understood God's acts. No, God did. I knew that God gave me a car. Uh, I knew that God fed my children. I knew that God healed my body. Yeah. I know that God was able to do these things. I saw his acts. Uh, I know that God will uh, supply all my need according to yeah. his riches and yeah. glory. I know his yeah. I, I know his acts. I know that God is, is able to defeat the enemy on my behalf so that even though they come upon my flesh, they will stumble and fall. I know God's acts. So many of us know what God does. But the Bible says Moses knew his way. So that even though uh, the people of Israel knew what God did, yeah. what gave Moses the leg up was Moses knew why God did yes. what yes. he did. Yes. Now, you want to go to a place of maturity, then we got to no. stop looking at God for just his acts and I understand no. God's ways. It's not about just what God is doing. God is not a genie for you to pull down a lever yes. and watch some money go out, apple, apple, apple. Uh, it's about what God, why God is doing what God is doing. Because when you're able yes. to understand the rationale of God to some degree, then you're cooking with Crisco. Uh, when you're able to understand why God does a thing, then you yes. can be God's friend. Uh, when yes. you're able to understand not just his acts, but his ways, then you're at a place of being able to understand Almost even predict how this thing will turn out. When you know God's ways and not his acts, then you're not fooled by people that can produce acts that look like God, even though their ways are not like God. 
Uh, I know I'm preaching up in here now. Uh, because so many times in this present day church, we got people that can do a whole lot of acts. Uh, there are some things that doctors can do that God does. Uh, uh, they got medicine that can do some of the same things that we say God does. Uh, but the problem is they are not God because they do not have God's ways. Which is why when the doctors fail, I can still go to God and get a breakthrough. Yes, 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 it's important yes. to learn his way. Yes, yes. I don't want to just know that my baby going to buy me some flowers. Yes. I'm speaking prophetically now. <laughs> speaking prophetically for a baby and for some flowers. <laughs> <laughs> but, but what becomes more free, important free, than that... It's me trying to figure out, don't judge me, that's right. It's trying to figure out what conditions are present that would make her do that. All right. Mm, too All many right. times we're in marriages and relationships and you know that they've done a thing. Mm -hmm. uh, but you don't know why they've done a thing. And all you're going to do is make sure that when the situation pops up again, you're going to get the same result because you never knew the root cause. You better preach up in here. So the first thing Moses asks is, God, teach me your way. I don't just want to walk through here blindly, God. I want to know why you do a thing. Uh, God, I know your ways are higher than my ways. Your thoughts are higher than my thoughts. But teach me your ways, God. Uh, to some degree, God, show me the anatomy of your makeup, God, so we can commune closer together. Show me your ways. We need to be a church yes. who knows not God's acts only, yes. Yes. but his ways. His way. When you know God's ways. It's just like when you know your man ways, your woman yeah. ways, you know your children ways. Yeah. You can get stuff out of your children and you ain't got to beat them because you know their ways. Mm -hmm. I know what motivates them. I, I yeah. know what they like. I know yeah. their ins and outs. Uh, when you know their ways, I know when he lying. I ain't got to call him a liar because I know his ways. When you yeah. know their ways, I know what I can do uh, to make sure I get me a couple of biscuits and some pork chop. I know their ways. <laughs> Move away from concentrating on God's acts. Because yeah. if you just concentrate on his acts, you're no better than a child who wants Santa Claus to bring him something for Christ. Yes, yes, yes. Moses knew God's ways. My God. He said, man, uh, if I've had some favor in your sight, God, show me your ways. But not only that, second thing, I want you to go with us. He said, let me tell you something, God, if you... Uh, don't go with us. I don't want to go. That's right. All right. That's, That's right. All right. That's right. Because what good is showing me the way, God? I got to go by myself. Yeah. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I, I, I want to go the way, but, but I don't want to go by myself. What, yeah. what good is being successful all by myself? Uh, most of us want to share life with somebody. And Moses yeah. is saying, God, it don't make any sense to send me to the promised land without the promised sower. It don't make any sense, God, to send me to a place against my enemies and you're not going with me. God, if you don't show me the way, that's one thing. But if you don't go with me along the way, then it won't even matter My God. that you showed me the way. Listen to what Moses says. Moses says, how in the world will the people of the earth even know that we're yours, God? How will we even be distinguished, God, from the people of the earth unless you go with us? Let me help you out about something. Okay. It is not that you got long hair. I, got a, I know a lot of people that got long hair. I know people who ain't got long hair and who buy it. It ain't that you so good looking. It ain't that you got muscles because I know a lot of people that pump up every day. It ain't that you so smart because I know a whole a whole lot of smart people and a whole lot of dumb people who act smart. It ain't that you got any of these things going on. It's that you got God, baby. The difference between you and everybody else is God. And the minute the church understands that the reason I jump the way I jump, the reason I walk the way I walk, the reason I talk the way I talk, the reason I got the promotion, the reason I got favor in my life is not because of me, but because God, you are with me. Then we can get somewhere. Do I have any a work in progress, but God is with me, yeah. so I got all I need. Yeah. 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 Moses says, go with me, God, mm -hmm. to such a degree that he says, I don't even want to go mm -hmm. if you don't go. Is there anybody up in this place that is disciplined enough with God to say, hey God, if you don't choose her for me, I don't want her. Yeah. Come on. 
I'm yeah. preaching to myself up in this place. Oh, yeah. huh? That's all right. I'll preach by myself. I'm good. All by myself. I'm good. I'm good. Trust me. Huh? It, it, I don't want the job if you're not going to go with me. I don't want it, God. I don't care how much they pay me. I don't want it. Yeah. I don't want the house, God, if you, you don't buy it. Yeah. <laughs> because I'll be sitting in the front of the line next year. I don't, I don't care. If, is there anybody in this place? I, I don't care if they like me. I don't want the popularity. Yeah. If you don't go yeah. with me, God, I don't want to go there. Yeah. Uh, where are the people of God who yeah. are not so results-oriented yeah. that have decided, God, if you don't go with me, I don't want to go. Yeah. Moses said, I ain't trying to go. Oh, God. I don't care what oh, you put God. on it. I don't care what. You can put doves on it. It can spin, do whatever you want it to do. I don't want to ride in it. Uh, you can give it to me with a cherry on top. I ain't going to eat it. I don't want it. Uh, you know how kids do when they don't really like the food. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it, God, if you're not going with me. Uh, yes, we got to get to a place where we say, God, if you ain't there, I don't want it. Uh, anybody going to witness in this place? I went there without God. Uh, and I came running back to God with my head tucked between my tail uh, because he didn't go with me. And so Moses asked, God, can you go with us? So he says, uh, yeah, Mo, I'll go with you. I lean with it, I rock with it, I go with you. I walk with you. That's what I like about God. Well, we think we got a mean God, but we got a good God. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Oh, well, we got a good God. So you think God want to say no all the time. God don't want to say no all the time. God says the promises are yea and amen. <laughs> Not no and no, no. Yea and amen. <laughs> so God really wants to say yes, which means when I get a no, then sometimes it probably ain't about God. But it's about me. He says, yeah, I'll go with you, bro. And so then Moses gets ambitious. And that's the part I like right here. He says, all right. You teach me your way. Okay. You go with me along the way. Go two for two. Show me your glory. Yes. I don't know if you noticed, but I just want to make this, you know, as a rule of thumb, and take my bike, pull out the kickstand, pump it right there, and go on the way, right? If you notice the progression of the questions that he's asking or the request that he's making, you will notice that from question to question, there is more intensity. In other words, every time he asks something, he asks for something greater than yeah. before. Yeah. And so this last time, Moses asked for the greatness of great, the greatest of great, the biggest thing he could ask for. And let me tell you why. Because there isn't any way we should spend time with God and not want more. Yes, yes, I don't think they got it. Preacher, yes, go ahead and say it again. Yes, the more you spend time with God, the yes, more you should ask for. Yes, time yes, out for you asking for the same stuff you asked for when you just got saved. Oh, Stop asking yes, God for a trailer and you've been serving him for 10 years. Stop asking God for a man to take you to McDonald's and you've been faithful for 10 years. You ought to ask for more because you spend more time yes, with him. Yes, yes, yes. So the more I walk with God, you can tell, brother, because I stopped asking God for the peripheral things. I stopped asking God for yeah. the aesthetics. I stopped asking God for the surface things. Uh, now I begin, instead of asking God for clothes and money, I begin to ask God for discernment. Now I ask God for, for love. Now I ask God for protection from my enemy. Now I ask God to be a fence around me. Now I ask God to protect and shield my heart. Now I ask that he would devour the devourer for my sake. Now I ask for stuff that's because the more you spend time with God, the more you should want from God. The more you spend time with God, the more you should be in a place where you ask for things that actually have some value and some meaning. Amen. When they were children, they asked for candy. When they got a little older, they asked you to pay for college tuition. <laughs> because understand, the longer I walk with you, the more I expect from you. Time out for the people of God who say they've been walking with God all their life, but you don't expect anything different from the first day you got saved. Help us, Pastor, help us. I'm going to spend a little time up here. I'm going to spend a little time up here. I'm two for two. I feel pretty lucky. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead right now and go for the gusto. Yeah. And some of us are really at the place in our life where we are ready for that. Oh God, I asked you for anointing. I asked you for salvation. I got a question for you. What's next? What you going to ask God for next? What you going to proposition God for next? Are you still at the place where you need the baby rattle? Or are you finally at the place where you're grown up? He says, 
says, show me your glory. Show me your glory. Uh, let me see your face. Yeah. Let me tell you something about the yeah. question, Joe. Let me tell you something about the question, Joe. Let me tell you about the question. The question that Moses oh, asked God. was actually outside his pay grade and actually outside his reach. For God said, Mo, if I give you what you ask for, if I show you my face, you're going to die. And so many times we're asking for stuff that's going to kill us. It's too much for us, but here's the good news, here's the good news, here's the good news. Here is the good news. God has a way of giving you more than you can handle. Yes. Exceeding your expectations. Yes. Without killing your body or your soul. Yes. Give everybody praise God for that right there. Uh, he's not going to give you more than you can handle, but he'll always give you more than you expect. God has a way. He said, Moses, you mo, 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 mo. You're going to die. Come on now, preach. But he didn't have a problem with the question, and this is why he didn't have a problem with the question. I'm just trying to help somebody out real quick. Because if I reach for the moon, uh -huh. even if the moon ain't meant for me, baby, uh, at least I can fall amongst the stars. Yeah. See, God ain't got no problem with you asking for the moon. Uh, because if you ain't ready for the moon, he'll just set you amongst the stars. But at least you're not sitting half back hanging out in the clouds. So, what do you mean by that preacher? Uh, if you've ever flown an airplane, you know that clouds are right at about 30,000 yeah. feet. I'd rather uh, be out of this world with God than 30,000 yeah. feet with a bunch yeah. of birds squawking around. Anybody up in this place want to go to a higher level than God? Yeah. So don't be afraid to ask even if it might kill you. Because God said, I can fix it for you. I can fix it for you. I can fix it for you. He said, Moses, if you see my face, it's going to kill you. Yeah, yeah. But I got to give you something because I know you want me. Yeah, yeah. I'm here testifying. I'm not testifying. I'm testifying right here, right now. Somebody wants something from God. Yeah, God said right here, I'm telling you from my mouth to your ears, God going to give it to you because you want it. Yeah. Ain't nobody going to praise God right there, right there, that second right there. I know you want it. Does God yeah, amends God. the parameters yeah, of Moses' request? He amends the parameters yeah. of Moses' request. And he says, What I'm gonna do for you, Moses, is I'm gonna pick you up. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And put you in a cleft of a rock. Oh my God. Oh my God, doesn't it feel good to be yeah. picked up by God? Yeah. yeah. Anybody ever been down? And yeah. 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 Anybody ever been upset and God had a way of picking yeah. you up? Yeah. Anybody understand yeah. that God is a God yeah. after you fall? Who will yeah. pick you up? He yeah. said, I'll pick you up and I'm gonna put you in between a rock. He said, and I'm going to pass by you, and I'm going to put my hand in uh, front of you, God, ah, God, so that you God, cannot God. see my face. I need somebody to understand hey, what I'm saying. Hey, hey, he said, I'm not going to let you see hey, the front of me, hallelujah. but I'm going to let you see the back hey, of me. I'm trying to help somebody out here. Yeah. At this point, some of us would have been offended. God, you're trying to show me your backside. <laughs> what you trying to tell me, God? You're trying to show me the back of you. As if the back of God is any less glorious than the front of God. This is what God was trying to illustrate. He said, you want to see my face. Huh, but I'm going to show you what's behind the face. Yes. Uh, I'll break it down make it a little play for him. Yes. You're so busy trying to be enamored with the surface. Yes. Uh, but I love you so much that I'm going to give you a deeper understanding yes. and help you go underneath the surface. Yes. Uh, too many of us are infatuated with the face of a thing, with the outward appearance of a thing. Uh, and God yes. is saying to you today, I'm going to take you deeper than what you wanted yes. so that you can understand the source of it all. Come on. He wasn't doing Moses a discredit. He was doing Moses a favor because by seeing what's behind my face, Moses, you actually get a deeper understanding. And some of us ought to thank God today because you asked for something. But what God gave you was actually better than what you asked for. I don't want no surface religion. I don't want no surface blessing. Yeah. I don't want no surface yeah. anointing. God, take yeah. me behind the veil. Take yeah. me behind your face. Yeah. Let me go yeah. 